Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be learning about the model view controller design paradigm and how Android helps us to follow it and also um, look at it in the context of an example of, of the game of tic-tac-toe. So what is model view controller or MVC? All right. Um, so the idea is that in any interactive program we have, that we're going to have things like data, we're going to have to display it, and then of course we're going to have to get input from the user. Right? So, so all of these things uh, live in, in, in any program, and, and if you notice, they can kind of be separated out in, in this way here. Right? That we can take our, our, our data and we can provide views of it to the user, and then the user can then go around and, and through the, the controller, um, they can manipulate the model. Right, so it's a nice clean separation, right? And MVC says that, that if you can separate them out, um, that that's a good thing to do. All right, so Android also um, helps us uh, to do this, right? So, so let's, let's take a look here. Um, so for the model, what, are, what do we have? We just have Java classes, right? So you've been writing these probably for years, right? Nothing Android specific here um, at all, right? Um, the view, well, the view is just the, the XML, right? As we've seen, uh, we can just build the whole view uh, just, just using the XML editor, um, no problems. And then the controller, this is where the interaction happens, are going to be things like button listeners, right? So in our tic-tac-toe game, what we're going to do is we're going to separate out the, the, the game logic itself into its own Java class here. Um, and again, it's a little bit more complicated, not a huge deal with tic-tac-toe, but we have things like a 2D array to hold the marks. Um, and we're going to have some logic for checking for wins and, and so on. All right. uh, and then we're going to have our, our view itself um, and the controller, both going to be similar to what we saw in the hello button uh, application. Uh, but for the view, we're going to be introducing table layouts. And for the controller, we're actually going to be listening to multiple buttons. All right. So again, um, if we were going to summarize this, um, Android is going to separate out the view and the controller for us. And because of the size of this program, again, it's not huge, but we're choosing to separate out the model and the controller um, themselves. All right, so what I'd like you to do, we're going to give you some starting code for this. Um, we're not, no sense since the, the model object is just basic Java code, uh, we're going to give it to you. So, so what I'd like you to do is, is go ahead and take a minute right now and download the tic-tac-toe files, all right? And that will give you the model and actually an icon that we're going to use. So go ahead and un, um, unzip them as well and have them ready to go and we'll cut over to, to Eclipse. Okay, let's go ahead and make a new project. Um, we'll do that uh, with the, just the name Tic-Tac-Toe, and again, your, your name that you're gonna put there, um, minimum SDK of, of 4.03, and then the package name, just like we did last time. Um, and this time, we'd like to, to use the downloaded icon right itself, just, to, just so we can, we can see it. It'll be kind of fun. All right, so in Eclipse, let's do that. So go ahead and right click, make a new Android application project. And we're gonna call this guy here, tic tac toe. I'll put my initials there. Project name will be the same. You notice it takes out the spaces for you because Eclipse doesn't like spaces in the names. Um, edu.roseholman.botel, tic tac toe. We'll push our minimum here up to 403. And I honestly don't care what you use for the other two. Um, should, should be no problem. All right, uh, let's, let's go ahead and continue. And then for our foreground, let's use an image. And the image file we're going to browse for. So if you'd go ahead and browse to wherever you unzipped your stuff. Mine is in downloads. And I should have one for tic-tac-toe given files. Um, and grab my icon there. All right, and you notice it puts you, it puts you a nice little icon here. Um, you can surround it by a circle like we did before. Um, or none. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to crop this guy out here. So create our activity. Defaults look great. Let's go ahead and finish. Okay. And it opens up for us, creates a few things here. So let's go ahead and, and, and clean up our code like we have been. So main activity. Uh, I'm going to get rid of all the, the fragment and menu stuff. So go ahead and delete everything here other than the, the onCreate method. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go into the, the layout, get rid of the fragment, yes, activity main, um, well, we can keep that for now, I suppose. Uh, let me go back and save this guy to get rid of the errors. I'm going to get rid of the menu folder, uh, values the strings, 
not a big deal, but I'm going to choose to, to get rid of the, the hello world and the settings as well. Save everything up. We're good to go. Uh, now let's go ahead and, and grab our, our model object. Uh, so you probably somewhere um, you have a tic-tac-toe game. So I'm going to drag and drop mine from another folder and I'm just going to drag and drop right into the package here. If I let go, I'll copy those files. We'll see that we have we have tic toe game. And if I look here, um, a few things. So you might have to, to fix the package to, to match. So I'm just going to put in the, the dot botel here, and that should be OK. Um, it's complaining about a few things down in the bottom because it's actually referring to a few strings that we have not yet defined. We'll take care of those in a, um, shortly. But what I'd like us to do is, is to take a look at a few things here and see what we're given. right? So. Uh, we don't have to spend a lot of time, but but just briefly, uh, we should be aware that the board array is going to be a, a 2D array of ints, uh, and that we have some um, we have some constants here for the different marks, uh, constants for the size of the board. We have a constructor to make the the tic tac toe game itself. That's going to take a context. We'll have to talk about that uh, when we create it, and then we have some some methods here. Uh, what should you do if they press a button at a certain location, right? So and that's going to um, update the model here. Okay. How do we check for a win and so on? Is the board full? Uh, and then finally there's there's ways to get strings for the various game states. Right? Uh, so what I'd like you to do, take a, just another minute, take whatever time you want to look that over. And we're done this video. When we come back to our next one, we'll go ahead and, and make the uh, the views. See you shortly.